Hi, and welcome to another edition of This Zoned House. My name is Dick Foster. I'm the president of Zone First. If you're in the HVAC industry and you've heard about A2L refrigerants now becoming the norm, this new requirement after January 1 requires all units having an A2L refrigerant in it to not only shut off the heating and cooling, but also to open all zone dampers when there is a leak detected. The leak detection in all units these days have a set of auxiliary contacts. So we're going to use those auxiliary contacts to therefore trip a relay, which we've pre-wired to make every panel easily adaptable for the A2L equipment. We've got a simple little brochure talking about how the panel is wired and a very basic wiring diagram we're going to go right through now. So we're going to show you how the A2L relay applies and wires into our zone panel very simply. It doesn't even take five minutes at this point. We've got two wires on the A2L relay. The one with the wire nut will wire to all the R terminals from all the thermostats. So whether you're installing a brand new system or have an existing system, what we want to do, if the system's brand new and you're wiring them up, take all the R wires, bring them together, and wire nut them on this wire with the wire nut. That'll bring all the R's together. So now again, we've got the thermostat R wires from the thermostats jumpered together through a wire nut. We're coming from the A2L relay closed contact to the R terminal on one of the zones. And then we have our relay wired through our auxiliary contact. And the last thing we need to do is to throw on a test dip switch. The test dip switch right now, uh, we need that's off. And what we'll do is throw that dip switch to the on position. That will change the power light from solid to flashing. And this will make sure when the leak detection goes off, the dampers will immediately all open instead of having a delay. So let's walk through this. Right now we uh, are not having a leak detection. We've got regular zoning happening. We have a cool call and zone two damper is open. As we can see it here, zone one and zone three dampers are closed. Now we have a leak detection. Boom, we cut out the cooling and we cut out power to the thermostats. And as you can see, all dampers are coming immediately to the open position. That meets the A2L requirements for the zoning. So there you have it. It's very simple to install this little relay for any one of our zone panels to meet the A2L requirements. One of the best things at all, this little relay can be backwards compatible with any zoning panel that we've made for 40, 60 years in some cases. Uh, it's simple to modify an old system when you're putting in new A2L and meet the requirements. Any questions? Check our website, www.zonefirst.com A2L, or give us a call toll-free, 877-FIRST-ZONE, 877-FIRST-ZONE, that's 347-7896. Thanks, have a great day.